Welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about Gods Unchained and how to play it. First you're going to need a PC or laptop. I put a link in the description because we're going to go to the Gods Unchained website. It mostly talks about the hype with trading NFTs and the former game director of Magic the Gathering is in charge of this game. If you click on the play now for free, it takes you to the register page and as of now you get a free pack of cards when you create an account. After you will be able to download it and have an immutable tab on your desktop. To receive prizes other than game packs, you need to have a wallet attached and currently I've only seen options to link MetaMask or Magic Ethereum wallets. There's a variety of tabs I'll explain. The arena is the main area to engage and challenge others. If you have Discord and find someone you want to challenge, this is where you input the challenge code. Alongside is Solo so you can test your decks against each other, the tutorials that teach you the basics of the game, then the rank section. You can play as much as you want against other players here. If you get into forging NFTs, you will need Flux which is earned through the Gauntlet of Gods. Every 24 hours, this resets. You will want to build 6 decks, one for each god. This is important to know for the Gauntlet of Gods. You can start it with whichever god deck you want, but once you win, you can only make progression with the god next in the circle. Winning 3 matches with each god will get you the max flux you can earn that day. All in the same spot is the weekend event, Friday through Monday morning. The first 25 matches enters you into a tournament and you could win extra packs. Elite prizes include core and expansion legendary packs. The market can take you to the star store to spend your stars on cards and NFTs, or the immutable store so you can sell or buy NFTs with Ethereum or God's token. Collections just shows you all of your cards, the board setups, and the trinkets in your possession. The workshop is where you'll construct your decks. You will want one for each god to complete the daily gauntlet of gods. Once you receive doubles of a card, it will appear under Forge. Here you will need at least two cards, Flux and Gods tokens to mint an NFT. You can use it in your deck to show off or sell it in the Munable Marketplace. Here you can open earned packs or tap on the link to buy packs directly from the website. If you haven't downloaded the game and just want to see how it's played, I'll show you. After selecting a deck and entering a ranked match, I am prompted to pick which god ability I want to use. Each has three. Then I can swap my starting cards for lower mana cards. The number in the upper corner of the card is how many mana you need to play it. Every turn you get your mana back, plus one extra until you get to five. After five mana slots, it takes more turns to get to six through nine. The idea is to find cards that work well with your god power and balance the amount of higher and lower mana cards that are being drawn. I'll go into abilities and roars in another video, so like and subscribe so you don't miss it. But the basics is the attack is on the bottom left and your health is on the bottom right. To successfully kill your opponent's card, you have to have enough attack to take out his health. And to win the match, you have to attack his god directly and bring it down to zero. I've had fun playing Gods Unchained and I can't wait for it to come out on mobile. We finally have a game that lets you earn free rewards, but you can also buy and trade real NFTs to gain advantage over other players. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next about Gods Unchained. See you next time.